If you ask a Russian driver what they drive in America, then with a high degree of probability he will answer, pickups. The United States is really associated with our people, in addition to hamburgers and cowboys, with pickup trucks. Today we will talk about a small truck, but with an interesting pedigree, the Ford Ranger. The fact is that this car of a truly American class and a truly American brand has never been produced or even sold in the United States itself. Just during periods of close cooperation between Ford and Mazda, the Blue Oval made two different Rangers, for the domestic market and for the international one. In Russia, just the international version was sold, which was based on the Mazda BT-50 pickup truck, but modified by the Ford division in Australia. The BT-50 replaced the Mazda B2500 which had been produced almost unchanged since the mid-80s. After a deep restyling in 2006, both cars got a new engine and improved appearance, and also pretty much added in comfort, but did not lose driving performance. The cars were assembled on the same assembly line in Thailand. There are several more assembly sites in China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Colombia and Ecuador, but it was Thai cars that came to our market. Frame body, roomy trunk, hardwired all-wheel drive, tempting. But the car does not shine with a variety of equipment. There is only one engine, a 2.5-liter turbo diesel with a capacity of 143 horses. He is supposed to either mechanics or the time-tested Japanese automatic Aizen 5 or 55S, which began to be installed only in 2010. There is a torsion bar suspension at the front and leaf springs at the rear. In 2009, the car went through a light restyling. There are frankly few offers for the sale of used Rangers, there are not even one and a half hundred copies in the whole of Russia. This situation arose after the December hype, when the most profitable offers were swept away, so now the prices for the secondary for this pickup have grown. There are no more than 10 cars with automatic transmission throughout the country, all the rest are with manual transmission. Engine. As we wrote, a non-alternative 2.5-liter MZRCD turbo diesel with a common rail injection system was installed on the Ranger. In general, the unit is very reliable, traction and coax with its tasks perfectly. Motor seals rarely leak, in some instances have already overcome runs of 200,000 to 300,000 kilometers. But for durability, it is necessary to water it with high-quality fuel. From the province, where gas stations with bad fuel are often found, the rangers often come on tow trucks to clean fuel equipment. Constant abuse of bad diesel fuel threatens to replace the injection pump. The timing mechanism is driven through a belt, which is changed every 120,000 kilometers along with the tensioner and intermediate rollers. Transmission. The power transmission system from the motor to the wheels has also proved to be simple and reliable. The clutch changes every 150,000 kilometers, and service procedures are usually limited to this. However, sometimes the spring in the gear selection mechanism needs to be replaced, as evidenced by the strong vibration of the shift knob. If you don't do this right away, the first two gears will stop turning on over time. As for the automatic transmission, the mechanics could not tell us anything, since there are very few such cars and there are no exact statistics on them. They changed the automatic in isolated cases, but the reason was always the same, tough off-road operation. If the front axle is connected with shock, then it is likely that the transfer case chain is stretched. This happens, but also extremely rarely. Check out this system before buying. The chain and the work to replace it are not cheap, since the body of the handout is dismantled. And remember about changing the oil in this very Rizdaka and manual transmission. Dealers recommend replacing every 40,000 kilometers, and in both differentials, every 20,000 kilometers, starting from the first MOT. Also, do not forget to spray the universal joint crosses every 20,000 kilometers. Suspension. Anyone who breaks a Ranger's suspension should be given a medal for perseverance or luck. The rear wheels are traditionally for this class of cars suspended on leaf springs. The front ones are on an independent suspension on parallel wishbones. Instead of springs, there are torsion bars in the form of thick rods. Kill such a design is very difficult. Shock absorbers will easily withstand 100,000 kilometers on our roads. There are also no complaints about the steering rack, it flows extremely rarely. But the tie rods still have to be changed, but also closer to the mileage of 100,000 kilometers. The front brakes are disc brakes, where the pads are changed every 30,000 to 40,000 kilometers, and the discs can withstand at least two replacements. 
Behind there are drums that need to be replaced by about 100,000 kilometers. Body and interior. There are no complaints about the body. The metal is reliably covered with several layers of paint that protect it from the effects of the external environment. But carefully inspect the car from below, since when driving off-road, the bottom, sills, and bumpers are the first to suffer. Of the exotic problems, it is worth mentioning the side mirror elements that burst in winter, a design flaw that needs to be dealt with. Still, in Thailand they cannot foresee all the features of winter operation. Electrical Equipment There are also no special problems in electrics due to its simplicity. There is sometimes a glitch of the airflow meter, which is most often cured by resetting the error at the dealer. Also remember that this cowboy is equipped with two batteries at once. Regular batteries are not acid, but gel. The cost of maintenance at official dealers. We consider the costs for the only possible option that can be found on the secondary, 2.5 liters plus MCP. Maintenance schedule, every 10,000 kilometers or one year. The Ford Ranger is an indestructible car, but expensive both to purchase and maintain. Many components and assemblies can only be found in the original version and they cost a lot of money, especially now but their high cost pays off with reliability. We also want to warn about a special category of cars that some owners buy specifically to kill them in off-road competitions. Cars after pocket a check can bring surprises in the most unexpected places. If you see a car for sale with a lifted suspension, evil tires, a winch and other off-road joys, avoid it. Only if you yourself are not a jeeper who knows a lot about conquering mud and repairing a car after such entertainment. The new Ranger is expensive, and the used one is not cheap, but for this money, from 500,000 to 800,000 rubles, you can buy a new pickup, for example, Great Wall Wingle 5, from 741,000 rubles, or UAZ pickup, from 535,000 rub, for the same money of the same years. Having 500,000 to 800,000 rubles, you can choose from a large number of cars of various classes. We have selected alternatives that fit into our price range and were released between 2006 and 2011. The economic crisis has made its own adjustments to the prices for the secondary, but the options over the past couple of months have not changed significantly. For the money that the Ranger costs, you can buy both an urban crossover and a large roomy sedan. The car is strong, reliable, up to 200,000 kilometers of run it is unlikely that you will do anything with it, except for maintenance. Although sometimes they come after fishing and hunting on tow trucks. Most often, either the cardan is bent, or bad, tanning beds are sipped in the wilderness. If you refuel at proven gas stations and don't go where even the tractor will not pass, then you are unlikely to break the ranger.